Welcome back guys. Today I'm doing the Reliance test, trying to do some testing on some just seeing how well this uh, Eagle Arms is actually going to perform. But I'm actually going to be doing some testing on uh, fitment wise, seeing how well this buttstock actually sits with plates. Yes, that's right, I've got plates. So let me grab some ears. See you in a second. Welcome back guys. I got everything. I got my hair in protection. I got my got my eagle arm and Oh wrong mag. I ain't gonna shoot that one. I'm actually gonna shoot the man two mag. That's right. I'm gonna shoot the man two. Uh actually gonna do this some testing on this one too because I kinda had some ammo pop out of it. Yeah. I said it, ammo popping out. <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining the show. Thank you for being here watching this show. If you like anything that you see here today, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that little bell on there. It lets you know every time that I actually post a video. Give us a thumbs up, comment. Let us know what's go, what you guys think. If I'm doing something goofy, stupid, whatever, please let us know. Uh, also, too, check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Check us out on wildcountrytactical.com. Also, let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to do some running. Y'all know I've actually got my gun set up with the mag lock and the trigger safe as well um, because this system actually allows you to actually have a safe way remember guys as you know this actually the mag lock actually allows you to be able to see visually how safe this weapon is and I'm just gonna be shooting just regular old ball ammo uh, just regular old full metal jacket stuff at this steel plate steel plates for about 10 by 12 uh, and it's nothing special it's just a junky piece of steel that I have laying around just to be able to hear some visual plinging off of it so let's see what we can't shoot car going in the room let's try this out here in protection dead in see what we can't do going hot Well, so far, I think I've only hit two shots. <laughs> but so far, I've put maybe a half a mag through. The actual Amentu mags, take these out where I can hear. The Amentu mag actually is honestly working flawlessly right now. Let's put some more rounds through it, see how well it works. Because I'm pretty sure that baptistry back there has got holes all in it by now. I think I've only hit one gun shot. One steel, one, one, one bullet is hit, so let's try this. There we go. There we go. You know, the gun is actually running flawlessly. It's, 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 honestly, I've, this is probably the second magazine I've put through it. Uh, and I, I can't, I can't be happier, you know, with, with the way it runs. This thing is awesome. So let's get some more in it. I hit locked back. Let's pull these out. Barrel's hot. Third rounds, this sucker's hot. Well guys, I have let, let off my chest rig, let my chest rig off a little bit, cause it's hot. There goes the car. Honestly, I, guys, I can't say anything better about the Ma a Men 2 mag and the rifle all together of all the components that I've went through. The butt stock, the mag block. I love this gun. Uh, it's I mean, it functions like it's supposed to. Cannot ask for anything better uh, for the price point, for the actual features that's on it. I said in my very first video, the price wise, it's like $650, I think. Um, and if you notice, I'm not running any sights on this. It actually come with a flip up side. I took the sights off because I was trying to do some other things with it. 
I probably need to spend a little more time on trying to dial in the sight. I've just got the sight. It's, it's, it's stock height, the stock setup. I'm just playing around with it. I probably hit, out of the 15, I probably hit, I don't know, probably <laughs> eight. <laughs> because I'm wearing a plate that's heavy. And plus it's about 93 degrees with about 125,000 percent humidity <laughs> because i'm in here i'm in the south guys if y'all you know we already know it's, it's hot in the summertime the butt stop worked out well uh especially with the plate because i actually have a swimmer's cut plate from not saying who yet but i actually have uh the swimmer's cut on it the butt stop fit perfect right up in it no problem with the purchase of the weapon i got up in it good enough to get more i can get even even short because my butt stocks i like them out far enough to where i can get back behind it uh, to see a lot better uh, especially my goofy arms it gives me a chance to get further down in the rifle and get a good line of sight on it um i'm hoping i get to keep this going long enough to actually up do some upgrades on the the handguard gas block um I said in the first video that I ever done with this gun that I was actually going to try to do some Cerakoting on it. Um, if I get to keep it, I will be doing some Cerakoting on it. Uh, not exactly sure yet, uh, but if I don't keep it, um, I will probably build a new one for this channel. Uh, one thing I didn't actually say and that I actually done... Um, sorry guys, I am getting eat up by mosquitoes. Uh, the one thing I did not say that I actually done to this, if y'all notice from the standard version or the stock version that actually comes with this, this pistol grip I actually replaced. The only reason why I replaced it is because Mission First Tactical, when I had the problems with the mag, as we all know, link right here for that video. Golly, oh my goodness, keeps. But as y'all know, with those mags, they failed and their motto and their deal is they they stand behind their stuff 100 percent so they actually sent me a pistol grip um i actually don't i actually like this pistol grip um i'm not exactly sure which which uh see this and if this pistol grip is the epg 16 v2 anybody wanting to know um I'll probably do some extra videos and some extra shots on it. Uh, probably do the whole thing again. Probably do a whole new rundown of the, beat of the gun. Uh, but um, gun functioned flawlessly. Uh, 30 rounds. Every one of them went down the range. Every one of them came out of the barrel. Because I still have my help my mag block back in. But I cannot be more happy. Er. <laughs> my country hick slang. But I cannot be more happier than what I am right now. This, this rifle. Uh, functioned perfect I'm hoping to be able to change this stock this uh, handguard out and to actually doing some more shooting with it I'm actually going to try to clean it because uh, I've put 30 rounds down it put another 30 rounds in it uh, a while back so it's it's had some rounds in it so I want to try to clean it I'm actually probably going to do a video of me cleaning this rifle um, so kudos to Armalot for taking a chance of doing this this, this gun through Ar uh, Eagle Arms. Great, great rifle. <sighs> I tell you one thing, guys. I'm not a, a law enforcement officer, but I tell you one thing. If these guys have to wear these plates all day long, thumbs up to you guys because I've wore it for about an hour and a half today, and I am pouring sweat probably got placements on where, my, where these things have been. I know my chest is pouring sweat. These things are not not light. And for a law enforcement officer to actually have to wear these, my hat's off to you guys every day that y'all put these things on. This plate system, um, actually this is actually a Condor Sentry uh, chest rig that I've actually got on. Um, but my plates, I am going to do a secret for those because I've got a whole video coming out about the plate that we're actually going to be doing some testing on that. The one thing I didn't wear uh, was actually my sunglasses, but these are not my eye protection that I usually wear uh, when I'm shooting. 
I actually have lost those, so I'll be looking for some repairs. So guys, I am wore out. I'm tired, I'm hot, sweaty. Mosquitoes is toting me off. Uh, the state bird of Alabama, thank God. Couldn't have been freaking wasps. <laughs> I think I got eight, like 9,000 mosquitoes. We'll see what we can. I'll go down here like this plate. I police my brass. It's like an Easter egg hunt for evidence. It's two more. Guys, that's something I actually would like to tell a lot of you guys. Uh, when you go out and shoot at the range, some places actually might actually allow you to place your own brass. I actually like the idea of going out once I shoot brass, I pick my brass back up. Whether I reload it or not, I actually like to keep the brass handy. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Trying to breathe through this wash rag of uh, humidity we have here in the south. But policing the brass gives you opportunities to do several different things one it gives you a chance to reload your ammo two it also gives you an opportunity to check out how well the rifle is actually running let's go check this thing out uh i said i had about eight or nine because i knew i was flying a bunch and i could tell it well, it's just the fact that i was standing up now, look i got two Thank you so much for joining the show today. I've enjoyed it. I'm glad. I've, I've loved being here, uh, testing us out, shooting us out, smelling some gunpowder today. I love it. So, guys, y'all stay safe, stay cool, be wild. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all are actually gonna hear everybody in this community go by today. <laughs> Kinda got a secret on the plates. I'll have to tell some secrets later about the plates because I'm actually doing another video on the plates. I'm actually gonna be doing another video on the plates, so hope y'all haven't I don't even know what I'm saying about now. I'm already wore out, tired, sweating. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I have lost my mind. I cannot remember what I was gonna say. I've done the whole hoping that video turned out well because I don't want to shoot it again because I only have 30 rounds of ammo left. <laughs>